Are you sick of being poor? Sick of planting your parsnips one at a time for so little profit? Of course you are. You want money, fame, women. And that's why you've come to me. Today, we're going to be looking at five Stardew Valley capitalism mods that will turn your Stardew Valley farm into the money farm of your dreams. Where do I apply for the Make Money Quick program? Listen, no need for a Make Money Quick program. I'm going to give you this one for free today. First thing you need to do to get into the hustle mindset is to surround yourself with the hustle mindset. That's why I have sold grandpa's crappy little farm to Joja Corp and they've turned it into a 20 acre Joja warehouse. That was like 20 million worth of development land there, okay? This is the worst mod I've ever seen in my life, dude. Look at all the things that are around here. We've got the Joja TV running 24-7. You can buy a Joja Cola. <laughs> Joja Corp really provided me with the goods. This is called the Joja Greenhouse mod and it turns your entire farm into a Joja Corp warehouse. They even put in some Joja coops for me, for my Joja chickens, which um, I actually think they all died, I'm not gonna lie. I, I did have some blue chickens, but they're gone. They might have been sent to the Joja slaughterhouse. I'm not sure where they are. So this is also the Joja living mod, which turns your house into a mini, a mini Joja mart. It's so you can surround yourself with the hustle mindset, guys. There's even designated areas for you to grow crops. So yeah, the layout is actually pretty good for if you want different sections to be for different seeds or trees or whatever. I, I think the I think the layout of this farm is actually quite productive. It's just that it kind of hurts to look at. And if you want the perfect seeds for your Joja Mart farm, but well, there's only one place you need to go to. Pierre is always like, they're undercutting my prices. But when you actually go to the Joja Mart, they don't undercut him. In fact, I'm pretty sure that Joja Mart prices are 20% more expensive than Pierre's stuff, which doesn't really make any sense. So the next mod we have is the law accurate Joja Mart prices. So by default, everything is three gold off. But if you buy the Joja Mart membership, like I have to support my local businesses, then that three gold turns into 20% off at all times. So this mod actually gives you a reason to buy the Joja Mart membership, either other than just like selling your soul for the hell of it. $16 for pass? Snips. Dude, why would you ever actually go back to Pierre's? Oh god, this is actually the roots of capitalism getting into me. Now, not only does Jojima undercut the prices of Pierre, so you can get a good deal. They've actually started to stock their own brand of seeds. This is the Joja Seeds mod. With modern bioengineering technology, Joja has been able to perfectly craft seeds for your farmer benefit. So if we go through and buy, buy some classic uh, parsnip seeds for so cheap too, eight gold a seed. It's half the price of parsnips. Think about the profit you're gonna be making on these bioengineered Joja seeds. Plant in spring or fall thanks to Joja Co Bioengineering. Wow, so these actually go across two season too? We're gonna plant a few Joja parsnips here and a few Pierre parsnips here to see the difference between the two. Already the Joja ones are looking brighter and the Pierre ones, damn the Pierre ones look really sad in comparison. Oh wow, dude, those <laughs> the Joja parsnips are so much more saturated. Look at what bioengineering can do for the greater good. Look at that. Should we see how much they sell for? Let's see how much they sell for. They sell for less? Huh? <laughs> oh no! Wait, Joja, you scam artist! Capitalism has failed me! But think about it. I only paid $8 for these Joja parsnips, and I paid 80 bucks for the Pierre ones, okay? So technically, I'm still making more of a profit on these Joja parsnips than I am the Pierre ones, okay? 
hustle mindset chat and when you've got that joja farm production line rolling in the bank you don't want to keep it in your back pocket especially when there's people like this walking around town no you're an important person and you need to place all that money you've made in a bank the next mod we have today is the bank of ferngill mod which brings the horror of real world banking into our into our into our cute little farming sim look at that so now the shopping cart is a bank apparently the creator of this mod actually went hard so there are things like events that occur like the stock market can crash your account can get hacked and 75 percent of your money can be taken out of your account at any given random time it's a really funny mod to, to have in your next like jojo playthrough bank account information or make a loan payment whoa wait this is way more extensive than i thought it was gonna be account number balance bank interest loan loan balance loan balance you owe 15,000 15,000 gold wait are you telling me if i download a mod that brings a bank into this little virtual farming sim i actually get the horrors of real world banking we have 628 dollars in, in our wallet and we can we can pay we can we can we don't have we don't have any money and we're still fourteen thousand dollars in debt percent interest uh, well that's okay because i know how we can make money quick the configuration for bank of fango is crazy so you can change like the loan interest so if we want to make it a more realistic loan we can there we go and you can put on unlimited loans <laughs> even though we're fourteen thousand dollars in debt listen if you want to make money you gotta spend money to showcase this next mod we need to get a loan welcome rich you know richo please enter how much g you're looking to borrow an interest of 12 percent will be added on for your service fees that sounds fine right you can currently borrow seventy thousand seven thousand gold uh, yeah i mean like we'll make listen for this next mod we'll make double seven thousand gold so we'll just take the whole loan and look at that it's free money the next mod we have is um is the joja investment maximize mod now if you want to speak some real money to me this is real money this mod adds i'm i'm not even kidding it adds an entire stock market to stardew valley you take a loan out you put it in stocks the stocks get higher you pay the loan off you take the profit what could possibly go wrong so wait wait so what can we invest in here clint sauce robin pierre no zuzu can you, can you just invest in the entire city of zuzu city and the star drop saloon perfect i think to make some real profit i think we go all in on Joja. You can also see uh, your investment portfolio in this mod. So you can see the investment data. Listen, Joja Mart is a promising company. I only see it going up from here. All right, $7,000 loan. Invested it all in Joja Mart. <laughs> We've got a 12% interest rate to pay off. We've also got a $15,000 mortgage to pay off. I'm sure it's fine. We're living the top G high life. And look at that, the share prices have changed today. Let's go, let's see how we're going. 82 bucks. Look at that profit, invested 7,110. Value, 7,602. Let's go. It can only go up from here, baby. Only a... What do you mean 242 G's down? What do you mean the biggest stock market crash for Joja in its history? Minus a thousand? We lost a thousand dollars in one day? That's not even my money, that's the bank's money. That's the bank's money. Buy the dip? With what money? I have 310 gold. This was all I had, this was all I had left. They're gonna take the house. I just, I just got off the call with my bank. It's um, it's, it's, it's not looking good. They took the warehouse. There was a lot of things going on internally with uh, with with Joe Dramat. Morris drunkenly tweeted out a lot of things. Shareholders got mad. Stock market interest rates. People weren't able to pay off their houses. And um, there's a lot of bad investments made within Joja Court. And yeah, whole company went down.
they said it was too big to fail and i i you know you hear that your whole life or they're just too big to fail so you put everything into it i had to declare bankruptcy i lost my granddad's farm to jojamart and then they went under that's i don't even know whose farm that is i'm at i'm just i'm just in i'm just in a field maybe you decide to not sell your soul to capitalism maybe you decide to help out the town that takes you in but maybe you still want that Joja Mart hit. Well, that's where I've got this next mod. Because the next mod that we have for you today is the Joja Mart Black Market mod. Yeah, listen, Morris didn't do well after the economic crash, okay? You got the goods? Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Cauliflower seeds for Joja Mart. Parsnips. $40 for a parsnip? What are you running around here? What, you think just because your company's collapsed that I'm gonna be spending $100 on one potato seed? Listen, I want the goods, but I don't know if I want them that desperately. Hey, does that 50% coupon still work? <laughs> you know, there's all these capitalism mods for your Joja Mart run where you can invest, but, but just be careful of the financial decisions you make along the way, okay? Maybe capitalism wasn't meant for this game. 